Krusty has resting homicide face. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit dangerous. We're going to be walking our elderly cat Krusty for the very first time. He's very old. Yeah. He's no spring chicken. No, he's a winter chicken. So Krusty is a feral adoption. Yeah. Which means that he was once a feral cat who kind of showed up outside of our door and uh, now he lives with us. He was a drifter. Uh, what do they street call walker. Him? So when we took him to the vet for him to get his vaccines because we thought he was a kitten because of his size, adorable meow and the fact that he still had his balls. The vet took one look at him and was like, this cat is 15, he's 75 in cat years, and oh, he had a vasectomy instead yeah. of getting neutered. That's why it looks like he has his balls. So when Krusty was a feral and we just started feeding him, he just started to just plant himself in front of our door every single night. Basically became our cat right away. Over time, we got more comfortable with him. We let him in. Yeah. So we were like, I think he's our cat now. Yeah. And so we took him with us when we decided to move. Basically, Krusty has been an indoor cat mm -hmm. since like last fall, and he's loving it inside. This is his retirement community. This is his Florida. Over the last couple of weeks, he's kind of getting a little restless, getting into weird nooks, like fighting bottle caps and dust mites and old Cheerios on the he, ground. He's been shadow boxing with me. He, he sees your iPhone wire, he is going in for the kill. He scratches and lifts into the mouth. The final straw towards wanting to walk him outside was noticing him on the balcony, crouched, ready to pounce to our neighbor's balcony. So we wanted to find a way that Krusty could still have some outdoors time without necessarily making a leap across a five-story building. And we've seen videos and read articles about people walking their cats. And it seems like some people are on the don't try it, I just dragged my cat around for half an hour train. Yeah. And a lot of people though are also on the, hey, this was a great idea and it gave my indoor cat some good exercise and some good fresh air with a little bit of practice, but it was good. So Tyler went to PetSmart and picked up a specific cat walking harness. Yeah. The instructions say to put him in the harness a couple of times before trying to take him out on the leash. We wanna see where we can take Krusty walking. We'd love to take him to this outdoor mall nearby that we love that's kind of like a park without the coyotes, but we wanna make sure he can handle it, so we're gonna take him around the apartment today as like a dress rehearsal. You said that out yet? Oh yeah, he is. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Oh, meow man. Let's do it. Oh my God, he just gave me such a nervous look. He knows there's something up. All right, let's go, buddy. You have the keys? No. <sighs> yeah? Oh. Come on. At first I was like, oh no, is this too much for him? I think that when he was right outside the door to the apartment, he was a little bit like, did I lose apartment privileges? Maybe we should go further away from the apartment. Yeah. Like Hey, what's up, buddy? Come on. It seems the further away we get from our apartment, the calmer he gets. I think he was nervous about leaving the apartment, and now he's a little curious. Here we go. We got some walking action. He liked to have one of his sides accounted for, and he also liked me walking a little bit closer to him. Mm -hmm. And that's actually where we got the best sort of like crusty drop. Right? Where he's sort of like, okay, I know it's on my right side. I know you're on my left side. You're okay. I don't know if I like you anymore, but you're okay. Once he got into places that had more shrubbery and places to hide, he was actually pretty chill. He was kind of just like looking around. Oh, I think he's liking it, babe. Yeah, I think he loves it actually. Every once in a while, he's like chugging along and he just like, you know, a little engine that could. And then he would like stop and just be like, yeah. Hey. Oh, shoot. He cakes, let's go. I think we gotta go where he goes. There were times when he was walking kind of happily. <laughs> He's going that <laughs> way for sure. I actually do think after a little while, he got pretty used to it. Part of like walking the cat so far has been, it's not as much walking with him as much as it is getting him outside. There was definitely a moment where he reached his limit and he was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. See, this is like a, get me out of here, mom. And so Tyler picked him up and carried him back to the apartment. Even though like there were definitely some ups and downs yeah. like, walking him around the apartment complex, we thought that he had passed a minimum threshold of liking it. Like it seemed like he liked it. Definitely. And also after we came back to the apartment, he seemed kind of okay with it. When all else fails, he is totally okay being carried in Tyler's arms. Yeah. So if that's how we spend tomorrow, that's okay too. So it's time to go to the mall. Today's going to be the real test. Crusty, you think you pull it off? He's not fighting at all. He's like fine with it. We got Crusty to chill pretty much. He was a little bit anxious sitting by himself, but then I put him on my lap and now he's just chilling. When we got to the mall, I was honestly nervous at first. I was, uh, like, I was definitely nervous yeah, too. Yeah, I was like, can we do this? Is that gonna be, are we gonna get kicked out of the mall? Like, is Krusty just gonna freak out and run away? We've seen so many people walk around this mall with their dogs in their hands, on leashes, off of leashes. So I'm interested to see if anyone gets mad at us for trying to walk our cat. Well, I mean, like, if people are allowed to bring that Paris Hilton dog to malls, like, why can't we bring Krusty to the mall? It was pretty empty, which is perfect for the cat walking. If he does not like the fountain. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody likes the fountain, but not crusty. The harness was a little bit loose the first day, but it just took some adjusting. Yeah. So it wasn't riding down his legs. We put him down, and the first place he wanted to go to was the Cheesecake Factory. Crusty. <laughs> Which actually forwards the conspiracy theory that Crusty grew up in a dumpster outside of a Cheesecake Factory. One thing we learned from the first day is that you can't pull Krusty, like he really has to want to walk. What would happen was we would sort of carry him from one location to the next, put him down, see if he liked it. If he wouldn't move, we'd pick him up and try another spot. So we put him down next to the grass. He did not want much to do with the grass. He did want everything to do with the sushi restaurant next to it though. Now he's outside of a burger, beer, and ramen place. I think he was just smelling the food and he was like, that's where I want to go. There's you plenty know. of cover. Exactly. There's like places I can hide. There's a fence I can sneak through. And he's like reverting back to his street alley cat instincts. I need to go there. They have a food disposal. I'm also a food disposal. So we wanted to see where else Krusty might want to go. He did not want to go to the Apple store. No. He didn't really want to go see a movie. He didn't really want to go to Urban Outfitters. Um, he felt medium about sprinkles. They have a vegan cupcake. Krusty, you know you're vegan. Krusty's the furthest thing from a vegan. We all know that Krusty's pretty environmental. I don't know that he wants a Tesla. He doesn't like the Tesla? I think he's thinking about it. Oh no, he's going for this pipe. He's not going down that pipe. Oh, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. He did not want to go to Sephora. No, but the people at Sephora loved him. They started taking photos of Krusty from the entrance to Sephora. Yeah. He's quite the hit right now. I don't know if Krusty likes the mall, but the mall likes Krusty. Yeah, they love him. They out. love the cat Listen, being out. there are out. more cat people out there than you think. There are just more opportunities for people to be dog people in public. People kind of were down for the idea of, of the cat getting walked. In fact, one person was like, yeah, it looks like he's getting a little plump. He needs a walk. Yeah, no, they, they're they right. You know, I've seen examples of people like dragging their cat along and like that doesn't seem cool to me. I didn't want to be scared or stressed. I think there was a few moments where he's like, this is a lot. Love's a good bush, man. Are we done with the mall, you think? Yeah. He handled this really well, and I got such like cat daddy jitters every time Krusty would start like walking by himself. I'm like, this is the best. I think that walking Krusty was a moderate success. I think that this actually does do a good job of getting him out, getting some of his angst out, getting him some exercise, as long as he doesn't fully sneak into the Cheesecake Factory and eat their food. Like he's been less sort of feisty, Less scratchy. He doesn't actually mind the harness or the leash, really. It's more just the new environments, I think. Yeah. It's going to be a cat-to-cat -cat basis. Like, with Krusty, Krusty's pretty unique mm -hmm. because he was a feral and he lived outside for so long. He does have a degree of that confidence. And even for him, he got to places where he's like, this isn't that cool. I don't know that we'll be doing this all the time, but I would definitely do this again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and this cat, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos about this cat or not about this cat, oh my God, make sure to smash that subscribe button and make sure to smash that little bell icon to turn on post notifications. You get a notification every time we post. We post three times a week. Here are my social media handles. Make sure to check out my next feed. I do a lot of Q and A's and daily vlogging on there. Those are Tyler's social media handles. Make sure to check out his next beat. He does the same. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time.